Hi, this is Amy Burval with LDVid30 Challenge number 17. And yesterday was Brian Eno's birthday. And if you're not familiar with Brian Eno, <laughs> you best get familiar with him. Look him up and his gloriousness and find out all about his extensive career in innovation and art and music. Amazing, with creative collaborations as well, with David Bowie in particular. Now he had a really cool quote that I ended up sketching, and that is, I prefer to shoot the arrow and then draw the target around it. <laughs> and I really love this. He actually followed it up with something to the effect of, we create our own niches that we exist in. Now, I love this approach. Um, we're so often trying to hit that target and be focused that we forget that sometimes those targets are made up of, of assumptions, of things that we think we should be doing, but we're not allowing time for serendipity. Now, that word serendipity, again, is really important. Another thing happened when I mentioned Brian Eno to a friend on Facebook. Facebook, in all its algorithmic glory, actually suggested that I share Brian Eno's music from Spotify with my friend. So it knew that Brian Eno was a musician and that I might, oh, there's my cat, sorry, <laughs> that I might have music on. Now, this made me think about how all these algorithms are actually inhibiting our serendipity, inhibiting the ability to find things serendipitously. So I had a lot of lessons from Brian Eno yesterday, and one is, <laughs> cat focus. <laughs> it's me back from the cat. Um, my lessons from Brian Eno on Brian Eno's birthday. Remember this though, the, that sometimes you might wanna fashion the target around whatever happens. And that's really a cool way to approach creative work.